SF, why, why do you think this course is very appropriate and why have you introduced it in Hong Kong at this time? Now the market has rebound and uh, there are a lot of activities going on in the private wealth management uh, uh, industry. So there's a, 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 a lot of demand for, uh, for, for uh, uh, experience and also a new entrance into the market. So we feel that uh, by doing and by offering this program into the market, we could help to address the manpower need issues of the industry, i.e. there's not enough relationship managers and other personnel in the industry. SF, why is this course different to some of the other courses that might be available in this area? Well, uh, this is a very unique uh, 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 training courses as well as qualification which are suitable for private wealth management uh, uh, personnel. The other courses available in Hong Kong now, they are either catered for the mass market kind of like a wealth management uh, program as well as very uh, 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 focused on maybe investment and portfolio management. This one you need in a, in a sense that it takes really uh, uh, the candidates uh, 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 to learn more about What's, uh, what's the best way to really serve the customer in terms of uh, um, the using the portfolio approach and also in terms of understanding how the customer behave and then how, 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 how to help them to do the risk management. So really it's catered especially for the private wealth management industry and we believe this is first ever program done in Hong Kong. SF, if I'm in the wealth management space or, or working currently for a private bank, um, I don't have to take this qualification. So what would be some of the reasons that I should want to take this qualification? Well, for individuals besides learning about the uh, latest uh, theory and market practice in the wealth, private wealth management industry, uh, this uh, program uh, has been uh, discussed with uh, 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 with a lot of uh, industry leaders and they, uh, their consensus is that this program will help the personnel in the Greater China area to uh, really come up with uh, certain uh, what we call competence standards. So therefore we have the support of the industry. So hopefully it will also help individuals to achieve certain uh, career goals and in their career advancement in the industry. And for em Employers, I think uh, this will give them a chance to uh, 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 come up with a consistent and well-developed program for their new staff and existing staff. SF, possibly you could clarify, is this for new bankers to the industry or is this perhaps for bankers who, who are looking for a, a change in direction in their career, possibly looking to get involved in private banking or wealth management? Actually, because of the, um, the need of industry, there's not enough uh, supply of uh, manpower. So a lot of uh, firms have been hiring what we call mid-career move uh, uh, people from the banking financial sector. And they uh, would try to convert those uh, financial services personnel into a private wealth management uh, 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 research managers. Unfortunately, there's no uh, uh, kind of like uh, market benchmark for training those uh, mid-career move uh, personnel. So we feel that by offering this program, we can also help the industry to train those uh, mid-career move people. SF, why have you recently introduced the Certified International Wealth Manager Program to Hong Kong? About 18 months ago, um, we have a uh, closed door meeting and dinner with a group of uh, senior private bankers in Hong Kong. At that time, uh, we talked about other issues and uh, one of the uh, issues that stood out was that uh, they need uh, a, a, a good training program. They also need some certification uh, program 
for Hong Kong. And over the last uh, 18 months, I've uh, been also talking with closely with the market, with this group of people, and also at the same time, been uh, working uh, with uh, other organizations. And about a year ago, uh, we came across this uh, program, which is available in Switzerland. For the last five, six years, this program was launched in, or been uh, offering in uh, Switzerland, Germany, France, Italy, Luxembourg, and recently in the UK. So, um, so we find this program very appropriate for Hong Kong. So we've been working with this organization called Association of International Wealth Management, who, is the, who runs this CIWM program globally. So after about uh, a year of hard work, we finally signed the agreement last month. SF, why did you choose this program in particular? Why we think this program is uh, good for Hong Kong and for that matter for the rest of uh, Greater China, we felt that uh, this is an internationally recognized program and it offers a global qualifications and global recognitions for people in the industry. And it covers uh, uh, many areas from the uh, area of like basic investments such as corporate finance, economics, derivative portfolio management for the foundation program, and then they also have a final exam program which covers topics like wealth management, real estate, behavioral finance, and research management, and also a, in, an international wealth planning. And last but not least, it also have a local program whereby we use local rules and regulations. So we feel that this is really a world-class qualification which you know been used very extensively in Europe. Now we bring back, we bring it to Hong Kong. SF, what individuals should take this program, and what's actually involved in taking it? This program is catered for people who are currently working in the profession or are interested in working for the profession. For example, research managers, investment advisors, portfolio managers, and even lawyers and compliance officers. And uh, we need, uh, the minimum requirements are minimum university degree. And if they have a university degree in finance, then uh, 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 they don't need to take the uh, foundation program. So uh, the final examination program we offer in Hong Kong is really, uh, we have a 84 hours uh, preparatory course. So which people can take in about two, three months. In fact, we started offering this in middle of June. So uh, for people who have had experience and with a degree in finance and banking, they can do it in three months for the prep course, and then the final examination will be taking place in September. And also for people who may not have the time to do it in one go, we can also offer them on a modular basis, can take it over time. SF, what's exactly the process involved in taking the qualification. The training course will start on June 18 and will finish on August 28th. The training courses will be conducted many in weekends by experienced market practitioners as well as tax experts and lawyers. Our examination will be held in September in the middle of September, and it will be in three sessions. The first session will be three hours. It will cover the wealth management. The second paper will be in three hours as well. It will cover the risk management, behavioral finance, as well as the real estate analysis and valuation. The third paper will be international and domestic wealth planning. It will be in one and a half hour. On top of this fee paper, we also require the candidate to take the uh, local rules and regulations. Uh, that this paper will be in the form of our license examination, paper one, which covers the local security and futures regulations. Or alternatively, people can take our professional diploma in financial market, PDFM, module four, to, to be the uh, local rules and regulation paper. 
Anything else you'd like to add? And also, uh, there will be e-learning tools available uh, for all candidates. They, 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 they can get access to a simulator for wealth management, also get access to uh, some uh, uh, e-learning uh, study aids available uh, after they register. SF, once they've done the course and ultimately passed the qualification, does it mean that they can use the letters after their name immediately? And is there some sort of requirement in terms of continuing professional development that they will need to do going forward? For people just passing examination, they wouldn't get the uh, 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 they wouldn't get to use the CIWM designation until they have uh, uh, work or achieved working in the industry for at least three years in the relevant area. And uh, now we anticipate that people would have to uh, attend certain uh, what we call continuous professional training uh, development uh, CPT hours uh, to in order to keep current about and keep appraise what's going on in the market. So we anticipate that we, they will have some minimum uh, annual CPT requirement.